Hey guys, my name is Dayspring and this video is going to be about how I passed my CompTIA A plus exam. First of all, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of what the CompTIA A plus exam is. The CompTIA A plus exam is uh, an exam that certifies that you understand the basics of hardware and software troubleshooting, a little bit of networks, a little bit of security, a little bit of hardware and software configurations, and just general knowledge that you need to work as an IT support technician or as an as an help desk support technician. My experience taking this exam was my first attempt, I failed my first attempt, which was earlier this year in February, and I failed because I was not using the right materials to study for the exam and I did not really know what the exam really entailed, so it was just bound to happen. But later on this year, I got encouraged to try again and I attempted the core to in June and the core one in July and I passed both. So today I'm gonna to be telling you how I studied and passed for the exam. First thing I'm gonna tell you is to choose three study materials, three study resources. And for me, I used Mike Mayer's Udemy course. That was my major resource. And then I used Professor Messer's YouTube videos and he study guides on, on YouTube. And finally, I used Jason Beyond's practice question on Udemy. So those are my three resources and I would recommend that if you're a video person, I would definitely recommend uh, the Udemy courses. Uh, Mike Mayer's course, I got it for I got it for both the Core 1 and Core 2, I got them for about $13 each on Udemy. They are usually in sale at some times of the year and you could easily find ways of getting discount vouchers for them. So they usually go for about $100 or $120 uh, for the for the real price but you could definitely get a sale for like about twelve dollars or thirteen dollars for any of these courses on Udemy so I would definitely recommend you go in there and look for whatever suits you and if you're not a video person you could look on the internet for books that other people recommend you can go on reddit and then just look at what books people recommend to use to pass the exam so that is the first thing I would recommend three major resources and then after this I would recommend that you set a time frame for each resource. So, for for example, I, for Mike Mayer's course, I set a, a goal to complete it in two weeks. So, for each section of the course, I set one day for each. So, in two weeks, I would complete the course and completely understand and do all the the review questions on it. And then after that, I was going to spend about one week on Professor Messer's videos and his study groups and just really listen to it on a daily basis. Like whatever I was doing, I was just listening to it, like wherever I was. So just make sure that you're, you're consuming the material like every time, wherever you are. Finally, my last resource was Jason Dion's practice tests on Udemy. He has two practice tests on Udemy and he also gives you a brief overview of how to answer the the PBQs, which are the performance-based questions, and a lot of people don't know. I didn't actually. I actually did not know the first time I attended the exam that CompTIA actually has about three to four performance-based questions to start the exam. So you definitely want to know how to answer those questions, and Jason Dion does a really good job on explaining that. So I would definitely recommend his 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 course and also his practice exam is the closest thing you would get to the A plus exam. He words it almost the same way CompTIA words the exams. CompTIA likes to make their the questions super long, but in those questions, you can easily find the necessary details and weed out every other thing that is not necessary. So I would definitely recommend you use Jason Dion's course. Make sure you attempt the exam at least once or twice, maybe even three times, and make sure you understand why each question is right and why each answer is right and why and why the other answers are wrong that way you're able to not just understand how how to answer the question but also in depth know why an answer is right or why the other answers are wrong and so that is a major reason why i would recommend jason Dion's exam and finally this is literally the most important thing once you have budgeted an amount of time for each study resource i would recommend that you set a date for for your exam so if you're gonna spend four weeks studying, make sure that at the end of your four weeks, you have your date for your exam ready, you have your, you've purchased your voucher and you have registered for your exam. And if after four weeks you feel like you're not ready, you could reschedule for two days after your original day or maybe three days or maybe one day, depending on how you feel. And when you're ready, just go into the exam and take it and be confident with it. And currently, the, the exam is remote, so 
make sure you understand the the rules be, uh, for the remote exam because you have to be in a closed room. You can't have like a monitor. There's so many rules about that. So make sure you understand that and know where you're going to be taking it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will be putting out more content on IT and my certification journey and also my, my journey as a computer science major with an interest in cybersecurity. I hope you guys join me in this journey and I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.